In VectorWorks 2010, improvements have been made to the Notes Manager to make notating keynotes easier and more customizable. First, let's look at a couple of new bubble and leader styles for the Callout tool. One option is the vertical accent bar. And a second is the hexagonal bubble shape. The new styles will adjust to fit the size of the text in your callouts. There are also new leader line types available. Options include having no leader line at all, as well as an arc option, which allows you to set the radius to your desired size. The Keynote legend also has new display types available. You now have the ability to choose the number of columns to create multi-column Keynote legends. Here, we will add a prefix to the keynotes of S for the site work legend. The legend can then display both the callout number and the suffix or the prefix, which can then serve as a way to assign specific keynotes to specific columns. Additionally, if you wish to assign different bubble styles to these keynotes, the Keynote legend now has an option to display bubble styles per callout. If you set the bubble display to per keynote legend, this means the legend will dictate how the bubble styles look for the keynotes. For example, if we set the bubble style for the legend to cloud, then the keynote will have the same bubble style. Notice these keynotes are automatically placed in the site work keynote legend. They can easily be assigned to the water features one by changing it in the object info palette. The Notes Manager improvements enable you to easily customize and organize your design annotations with significantly fewer steps.